Saxon Ring is a very unusual track. It's got so much undulation. I don't think there's any track, anything like it. It's nicknamed the Mini Nordschleifer, um, but it is very unique. So many blind crests, the big waterfall straight going out towards turn 13 is fantastic to see. Such a steep descent for the cars. It's unusual because the cars run anti-clockwise around Saxon Ring, but it always creates entertaining racing. I think I'm just really disappointed with uh, eventually the result and knowing how good we actually are at the moment and that it just didn't work out this session. I shouldn't be blaming anyone and I shouldn't be um, giving bad energy. Yeah. We all don't need it so that's why I decided to just run off for a few minutes. It's all right. So yeah, do you know it? what's the good thing? We have Nobody cares about free practice. Yeah. All you need from free Agreed. practice is like lessons learned. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It feels like we have so. like a very cool project car at the moment, like laying in front of us. But they all, all the good parts, but we yeah. need to build it.
coming out of the quali, I immediately felt that this was a very good one. And when I heard it was P3 for race one, P5 for race two, I knew the next two races were going to be very interesting. So start of race one was already two hours after qualifying. Qualifying on a good position brings some pressure with it because everybody is going to expect you to do good as you're on a prominent rip position. But we didn't have much time to prepare for race one so it was a bit unfortunate but obviously accounted for everyone. For me the task right now is just to keep my hat cool and focus on what's important. It is round seven, races 13 and 14 of the Porsche Carrera Cup Germany. Uh, Luke Hartog, who currently leads the rookie championship, uh, he's 15 points ahead of Bastian Boos. He's had a great qualifying session, third on the grid. Really impressive stuff from him in qualifying. Uh, we've now got indication from the back of the grid that all is well, so over to the race director who will uh, uh, get these cars rolling as soon as possible. The red lights are on, the red lights are off, and away we go. It is race 13 of the season, and Larry Temporda getting squeezed by Ian Shankuban, and Heinrich getting sideways. It's Heinrich is off into the gravel, and Luke Hartog. Oh, what a shame after that great qualifying. And uh, Heinrich into the gravel trap. This is going to surely bring out the safety car. is making uh, progress, so right hit off on your peril. I said he might not score points today. Well, how wrong am I? Because Hartog is up into 14th place. The young Charger working his way forwards, make that 13th place. So really impressive stuff from Luke Hartog after dropping to the back of the pack. He's up to P11, so the comeback continues, uh, but he's going to struggle to make too much more progress.
Sorry, big butter. It's alright, man. But nice rest then afterwards. Yeah, it was okay. I, I couldn't go anywhere. So here I went on the brakes and they hit each other. So I was like, if I decelerate now, I'll hit them. So here I couldn't turn in, I couldn't turn in. Yeah, now it was too late for turning in. So, biggest lesson learned for tomorrow from P5 is also left. Go right as soon as possible. And just be in and kick somebody else out in the worst case. With the disappointment of race one, there was one race left. Where we again had the opportunity to fight for a podium, the second one of the year. So he's having a wrong start, goes in the middle, 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 outside, 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 outside. So it is very possible. I actually, outside is better for some reason. I think it's better. Also, like yesterday's position was not bad. It was just those two idiots basically killing each other in the middle. Hello, everybody. Welcome along. We've had. 13 races this season. We've got one more today. And then after this weekend, in three weeks' time, it's the season closer at Hockenheim. Good luck.
gleich mit Gästen. Julian Arms ist. Ja. Wahnsinn, unfassbar. The car was the best it has ever been. I was basically on fire. I think what we've learned with the test day in terms of race lines really helped me. Yeah. Yeah. So in total, I wouldn't say a weekend to forget, like you said. But to remember. But a race to forget, and I think we learned quite a, a lot. To, of a weekend to remember and a race to forget. Yeah.